What's good, Ray Gang, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Des, and today we are gonna get into this weekly vlog, okay? So, today's actually Tuesday, not Monday. Little backstory. Okay, so I started my first day yesterday on Monday, and um, for those of you that are new here, I am a physician assistant. I just recently relocated to Houston, Texas uh, about a little under two months ago and I just started an urgent care job. Last week was orientation at like at, um, what's it called, corporate. But yesterday was my first like actually in clinic day. <sighs> yeah. If you watched my last vlog, I will insert a card on the screen so you can go to that vlog if you haven't seen it. You guys know how worked up I got, um, how my anxiety was eating me up, <clears throat> imposter syndrome was eating me up, y'all. Got to the clinic, bada bing, bada boom. I did my one two. Okay, I did my one two. It was great. Um, oh, very embarrassing. I spilled something on my PJs, but yeah, so. Honestly, I ended up being fine. It, 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 what I will say is I hate this glare. It makes my forehead look 10 times bigger than it already is. So what I will say is um, working in urgent care, I actually really enjoy it. It's, it's really fulfilling because you get to solve people's problems right then and there, which I love. Like, I'm a problem solver. I love that type of stuff. Um... Also, it keeps me on my toes. It's not the same run of the mill in my last job. Because I got a lot of questions on my Instagram when I had posted like a story, like saying it was my first day, whatever. What are you doing? How many jobs do you have? Da, da, da. So I'll give you a little backstory. My very first PA job outside of school, like out of school, was um, April of 2021. I graduated in 2020 to graduate ever did not get a job for because of the pandemic everything was closed whatever finally come 20 uh sorry december of 2020 got a job offer um accepted it january 2021 moved and everything and i started working april of 2021 so that was an ortho slash neuro job and that job honestly was very easy the labor itself, very easy job. The mind games and the, the anxiety levels, horrendous. I mean, I was taken advantage of. I had to take call, you know, at least twice a week. I had to work at least one week in a month. Um, I was paid entry-level pay. Granted, I'm still making six figures. Not that that matters, but to say entry level to some people, you may be thinking 50000 I don't know. I don't know what you may think. So I want to, full disclosure, I was making good money, but for what I was going through, girl, I should be making closer to like 150, 180. Very humble as a new grad. Obviously, you bite the bullet and you work hard, you put your head down, and I did. And actually, I had started on board with another new grad PA. She was only there for, I think, two months before I came on board. Um, she trained me, the blind leading the blind. <laughs> uh, no, Abby, I love her, that's my girl. But Abby, um, I think she started in January. I started, so she started like maybe almost three months before I started. She ended up working through February of this year. So February of 2022, so a little over a year. She ended up leaving and going somewhere else. So from end of February through September of this year, I was the only PA, the only PA responsible for 15 surgeons work. 15. <laughs> I don't think that people understand in an ideal situation, it's a one-to-one. -one. It's one PA for one physician in an ideal situation. Sometimes it'll be, you know, your PA for two, when it comes to like private practice, when it comes to, you know, that type of work. But I was responsible for 15 different surgeons post-op care. So you guys can kind of get an idea. I mean, 
one surgeon, one of our top performing surgeons would have eight surgeries in a day. That's one surgeon, eight patients for one surgeon. And if there's three other surgeons on that day and they all have two or three patients, I mean, we just went eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, like at least 16 patients a day by myself. I had help, obviously. I had staff help. I had nurses help me. But, like, from a PA perspective, that's a lot. That's a lot of labor. That's a lot of... I don't want to say labor like I was out there oh, back hurting, sweating. Like, no. But, like, a lot of answers that I had to give people. A lot of orders I had to put in. A lot of crossing T's and dotting I's. It messes with your mental. I just knew that that was a means to an end. So, I got my year of experience. And I said, the big deuce is... Moved out here um, to Houston. Y'all already know that if y'all been keeping up with my life. So this job on the other hand, so that job was ortho, ortho dominated slash neuro. So a lot of spine fusions and stuff like that. Now this job, urgent care is everything up under the sun. Girl, you got uh, a newborn with upper respiratory infection. You have a 90-year-old man with anxiety. You have a 14-year-old that wants to school physical. You have um, a 30-year-old construction worker that just tested positive for COVID. I mean, anything that you could possibly think of that's not like, oh, I'm dying? And it might be, oh, I'm dying, is walking through the door, okay? so. Definitely different, but I loved it because yesterday was my first day ever working at 12. And when I tell y'all, that 12-hour shift felt like a six-hour shift. It felt shorter than my traditional eight-hour shifts at my last job because it was like one thing next to another, next to another, next to another. And my tech's amazing. I mean, I before this job, I never had a single tech. I never had a medical assistant. It was me, myself, and I. And then I have my nurses, but like they do something, they do, they can only do certain things. So, and they have their own responsibilities. I know I'm, I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but here, your tech is responsible for your patients. So, before I even go in the room, my techs already got all my labs, they already got my, my urine. They already got my blood drawn. They already got everything that I could possibly think of and will even put in the notes description what they might be thinking is going on with the patient. All before I even entered the room. Love that for me. Definitely spoiled, but um, it, it, was, it was a lot. It was a lot, but definitely excited. Definitely hungry to learn more. Um, and the most beautiful part about it is because I'm working 12s, I only work a couple days a week girl okay um so i had today off which i just took the whole day to rest unintentionally i actually wanted to have a productive day but i listened to my body my body decided to lay down so i said okay girl i'm with it <laughs> but i have two today which is tuesday off and then i have tomorrow which is wednesday off and then i work thursday friday and then i'll have the weekend off so pretty nice situation okay so anyway enough ranting welcome to the vlog i it is a little after oh not a little after it's almost eight o'clock um uh, i want to go edit um a youtube video that i would ideally like to go up tomorrow so i'm about to make me you guessed it and iced iced brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso okay now if you watched the last vlog, you know I was it was like a, my first time, first time for anything a little shaky, y'all. I finally perfected it. And I'm gonna take y'all through it this time. If y'all don't care, just skip for it, y'all, please. But um I'm gonna take y'all through it. So let me turn y'all down. Okay. Cool. So let me get my pod. Okay, so I got my, um, this is the blue, the Diabolito pot. Okay, girl. Yeah, the Diabolito pot. So, oh, let me turn this John on first. Okay, 
she's on. Let me open her up. As y'all heard a pop, it popped through, it punctured through. Ignore the little stain right there, that was from yesterday, but I'm gonna wipe that up later. Anyway, so I'm gonna turn to lock it. Let me grab my cup before I do some goofy stuff right now. I'm gonna actually grab my, the mug I'm gonna take to go. So my apartment got me this really cute mug, so that's what we're going to use. Okay. And I'm going to just press start. So good. So when it gets to doing that, I hit it one more time just to, cause you can like get a top off. I don't know if that's for espresso too. I know it's for coffee, but girl, I'll be doing it with espresso too. Give me a little top off. <laughs> Uh, I always, I, I can't wait till the future comes where they put, um, they add scent to video, but um, it smells so good. Anyway, this is what it's giving. Let me see if I can see. Oh my God, like, what? Look at how pretty that is. Perfect. Okay, so we have our espresso. I'm just going to set that to the side. Let me, the drip tray is the only thing I don't have. Um people that kindly gifted this to me. I guess, I don't know what they did with the drip tray. I'm not tripping about it because truly it's not that deep, but I'm just gonna put this napkin here for now so it can catch a lot of excess. Okay. Um, all right, now we're going to make our brown sugar okay syrup so this is the part where i failed the first time that i had showed y'all I'm, I'm gonna show you this time so what you're gonna need you're gonna need brown sugar cinnamon and vanilla extract okay i take something that i can microwave it in which that's simple okay and you're gonna need ugh, one teaspoon measurement so, I do not tightly pack it. I take, sometimes I kind of overdo it, but one, two, okay. Or was it a tablespoon? It may have been a tablespoon, y'all. Hold on, let me look at my phone. Y'all, I'm already messing up the instructions. Like, child, help me, please. Um, it's definitely tablespoons, so let's start over. So like I said, I do not tightly pack it at all. Like, I'm real generous because I like mine sweet, okay? And it still doesn't even end up being crazy sweet like you might think, so. <laughs> That's probably a little too much, okay, two. Boom. I just do about that much cinnamon. <laughs> no measurements over here, baby. And I take a cap full of the vanilla extract. So literally, babes, I need to buy some more of this, honestly. A cap full. Boom. And then after that, I take a tablespoon of water and you can see it already starts to slightly dissolve and now we're just gonna microwave that for like 15 seconds until it completely dissolves so
I just watch it, keep an eye on it. <laughs> just to see so it don't start doing nothing crazy, bubbling, splashing. Yeah, it's already starting to bubble. So, as you can see, it's definitely all dissolved, right? So that's our syrup. This was the, a very necessary step the first time that I clearly missed. So, okay. Now that we have that, we grab our shaker. Okay. And we're gonna put some ice in the straw. On. Give me a second. So we have our ice. So we're gonna add our espresso. Ooh, I love that sound. And there's still some foam in here, but it's okay. Because the drink's gonna go back in there. And then we're going to also add our brown sugar. So good. And y'all, when I say this is like sorcery, like I've always clearly seen this with cocktails, but I didn't realize, you see how, you see it now? Just watch after I shake it, how cold it gets. Look at the, oh my God. I'm gonna put ice back into this mug. Give me one second. Take the cap off. Oh, you can already see it's like foamy. And I'm gonna lift y'all up so y'all can see what it gives. So it's little. And now, mm. oh wait, there's still so, okay, so this is the funny part. Look at what's in here, it's all foam. So without me trying to get the ice in here, I like the foam. Oh, a little bit of ice won't hurt, it's fine. Okay, I don't want no more ice. How do they do it? The bartenders. Chad, I used to bartend. I don't know why I'm acting slow right now. There you go, that's all. Now we have this beautiful concoction. You can feel free to add some oat milk now. Um, just to break it up a little bit. <clears throat> so I'll add a little bit to make it more of a, a drink. This is how beautiful it is. Damn, there's more ice in here than I had anticipated. Let me try it really quickly. Hold on. Oh, delicious. Delicious. Okay. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of sweet cocoa on top, which you already saw me make that before. So I'm going to make that and then I will show you the final result. You can start to see. When it starts to ripple, hold on, let me, let me do it for y'all. Like, it's getting thick. I love when it gets thick like that. Okay, hold on. Period, queen. Okay. Yum. So serious. My cold foam literally tastes like vanilla ice cream. Okay, and then we just top it off like so. And that's probably a bit much. Like, surely I'm gonna save the rest of this for tomorrow. Um, all I do is end off with a dash of cinnamon. A few dashes. 
And that's it, y'all. She's stunning. I wish it was a clear so that y'all could get into it, but it tastes amazing. Let me know if you try it out. I will, um, maybe, if I'm not lazy, leave the instructions in the description box below. But yeah, that's my brown sugar, ice brown sugar shaken oat milk espresso. did like a very short square um ombre super cute but um and i got my toes done and then i went to um home goods michael's i got some breakfast very uneventful but um i'm back home and i'm about to give myself a blowout i have a lash appointment um in a little bit so i think i want to give myself a blowout edit and then go to my lash appointment but I get questions like no other. I mean, I could post every single thing that I find is helpful on the internet, but some way, somehow, I always get asked about my hair. <laughs> and I get it, um, but I feel like I answer these questions a lot, but I, I just figured that I would show you guys kind of how I go about doing my blowouts. I normally would do this on damp hair. It's like pretty much like 95% dry. AKA dry hair. So I'm gonna just wet my wet brush and um, brush through my hair. P.S. I normally, um, if, if you've been following me for a while, you know I always get tape-ins, but when I moved, I um, obviously left my hairstylist back home in Cleveland. <laughs> so uh, I was a little nervous Cause I don't like just anybody doing my hair. I'm real finicky with my hair, especially because I know how to do my hair. So like, you gotta really come with something, okay? So um, I ended up saying, until I figure out what I'm going to do, if I'm gonna just like take a trip every three months back home or whatever, I was like, let me just get a sew-in. And I, had, I used to ride or die by sew-ins uh, when I was in college. I took a break and then when I got back to, uh, I, I found out about wigs and then after wigs, I found out about tapes and I've been doing tapes for a little bit, about a year now, I would say about eight months or so. But, um, so I got, I had a, got a sewing and y'all I'm hooked. Honestly, I was even talking to my, my girlfriend, Sky that does my hair back home, my hairstylist. She was like, yeah, a lot of people don't understand like uh sew-ins i mean sorry tapes is not a protective set like you have to do your hair every day and you have to know how to do your hair so um i just went in with the wow dream coat supernatural spray and tapes are not a protective style they're not thankfully i get brazilian blowout treatment so my natural hair is like wavy straight but uh if it wasn't, girl, I'd be frying the hell out of my hair every single day. So I decided to take a break from tapes. Um, sewing is more of a protective style. Obviously, you still have a leave out. So, yeah. But, okay. Enough ranting. Before I blow out my hair, I go ahead and I section off all of, like, my leave out. Um, it's on this side. My perimeter and the 
nape area and I blow that out separately because I like to get to the root, especially when my roots have grown out for my Brazilian blowout treatment. Um, a, um, FYI, if you don't know what a Brazil, Brazilian blowout treatment is, it's kind of similar to a keratin treatment. Similar um, results, maybe different properties. I'm not sure, but I'm not a hairstylist. Just telling you what I get done. Um, so yes, this hair, I believe is from DH Hair, not sponsored. I saw a stylist use their hair on Instagram and they're based in Texas. So they actually have like a storefront, like a physical store that I can go and like touch the hair, see the hair, whatever here in Houston. So I went, bought this hair. I bought three bundles, two 16 and one 14. I thought they were all 16, but one is 14 and it's okay it ended up working out because i get layers anyway this is the i think cambodian ah is it cambodian some slight wavy or something like that okay so i prefer wavy hair over straight hair because if you have a little bit of texture to your hair black women specifically um you want to opt for wavy hair because when you blow it out especially if you prefer blowouts over flat iron your hair or both it will seamlessly blend with the, the natural texture of your own hair if you get super super silky straight hair and then you blow it out and you blow your hair out it might not match just saying so anyway now that we got that out of the way i've already sectioned out my section off my leave out blown it out and i just like lightly pressed my roots up here uh, just because I haven't gotten a Brazilian blowout in about four months, which is crazy. So I'm going to just section out my hair like so because we're going to get straight into this drawing. Okay. And I honestly used to do super, super baby tiny pieces until literally like two weeks ago. I did it in huge pieces and it came out the best that it ever has. I don't know. Or maybe it was just because the hair was clean. I don't know. So let's give it a go again. I loved it. So I have about a third sectioned up. I hope y'all can see that. I have about a third sectioned up and then two thirds down so what i'm going to do is i'm going to part i think y'all can see i'm going to part my hair down the middle like this okay and tie this section up or clip it up so i'm going to lightly put a little bit of water in my hair with the brush again just because this bond um on number nine i'm so used to perfume um this olaplex number nine says to apply on damp hair and the only time i've used it which was my last blowout which was like i said a week and a half or two weeks ago um i applied it on damp hair so i just want to keep it going because that's worked last time so I'm gonna take this uh, Olaplex number nine one little pump and apply it to this entire section of my hair especially on the ends because we want those to be super silky Brush it through. These are the rollers that I set my hair with. They are the volume or voluminous curl smooth and lift Ugh. by Conair. Girl, I got these forever ago at Walmart. You can get them at Walmart, Target, Walgreens. I'm pretty sure pretty much anywhere. So I typically use the pink, the biggest on the bottom, and then the top third, I will use the green. 
Maybe if I'm feeling real frisky, my bang piece, I will use a yellow, but I will never go smaller than a yellow and typically never smaller than the green. Okay? okay. Now this part is the most important part, your hot tool. Okay. Um, some people like to use an actual blow dryer with a round brush. I have never attempted that. It just looks a little too complicated for me. So I have a blow dryer brush. I actually got this from Marshalls. I want to say about a year ago. Game changer. Love her whole life. So she is that girl. You can get these anywhere. I know it's either Revlon or Conair has a very popular one, girl, just get you one of these or a really good blow dryer, preferably like a Dyson T3, one of those nice brands and a round brush, okay? So I'm going to section it, this part, not on an X plane. <laughs> You didn't know that you were entering the math class, did you? Not on an X plane, but on a Y plane. I'm going to section down like this. So th this section is going to be sectioned into, mm, yeah, let's do two sections. Okay, one, two. So I'm gonna pin this up because it's easier to get to the back piece before you do the front. Okay, so this is going to be the section that we're going to work with. Now, I use this on the highest heat, and just watch, and then I'll explain. just saw that I have done nothing but blow my hair out but I don't know if y'all saw the technique when I'm done I always twist it down and make it form this type of curl okay and while it's still hot that's the important part while it's still hot to set the curl you want to take your roller this is not a very intimate or specific tutorial, forgive me. If I want to dedicate a video, I will gladly do that, but I figured this is self-explanatory. Okay, so we're going to tuck the ends, make sure that the ends are completely flush with the, with the, um, what are these called? With the roller, goodness. And then you want to just... And this is my hair, obviously, so I'm going to bring that in, roll it all the way up. I take these type of clips and I secure the roller, like so. And we have one section done. Okay, so I will do the next section. But I don't know if you guys noticed, what I start off doing is I will brush through the hair to get this portion pretty much dry um, and like straight. And then I will go in and slowly bring it down and then curl it at the end when I'm done. So I'm gonna repeat so you guys can see it again.
your finger to kind of twist it, but that's how it comes out, y'all. It's like not very difficult, especially if you have a good tool. Um, so I don't know if you can kind of see I have a little bit of a crinkle here. I don't mind if I have that in my bottom layers because the top portion of my hair will cover that. And as y'all can see, I don't know if you can tell how fast this really takes me. It does not take very long at all. I used to in the beginning when I first started doing these take me forever because I used to use the babiest of sections. And then I lately been using big sections and I realized A, it comes out better and B, it saves me so much more time. So, um, yeah, as long as you have good styling tools, um, it should come out pretty good. So yeah, the, um, the top layers will cover any imperfections per se. Did I just take a clip? And I clip it. Boom. So already, like, this whole section of our head is done. Now we're going to do the other bottom section and then the top won't be too long. So I'm going to hurry up and do this and I'll come back and show you kind of what it's giving. And um, before we, like I'll show you what it's giving um, and take it down with you before I leave the house so you can see kind of how I do that too. Because before I used to do all of my hair and then I would like put a bonnet on and sleep with my rollers. It says you don't have to do that. You do not have to do that. As long as the hair cools with the rollers for a little bit of time, you should be good. Like, I never used to do my hair and leave in the same day, but now, like, I can literally wash my hair, blow it out, set it for a little bit, and leave the house for work, or, and leave the house all before I go to work if I wanted to. Not ideal, but if I wanted to, I could. So, I'm gonna hurry up, do this, and then um, I'll check in with you guys before I go to my lash appointment. I'm about to head to my lash appointment. My hair has been in these rollers for, I would say about 45 minutes. And now I'm gonna take everything down. So I just take all the clips out first. Goodness gracious. Oh, I didn't even show y'all. So this is what it ends up looking like. I don't know if y'all can see that. Okay. But yeah, I just take out all the clips and then I slowly start taking out the rollers. It's There's really no science to it. You don't gotta be particular at all. So, I take a roller out and I finger curl it in the direction that the roller was in, if that makes sense. So, the curl's going that way, so I finger curl it backwards. And I just repeat. And so yeah, this is how it comes out. It comes out so good every single time. And honestly, um, I use the sleepy tie at night to preserve the volume and the you know the curls or like the waves, whatever you want to call them. But yeah, y'all, that's it. That's literally it. Every single time. Boom. Oh. 
I hope it's getting in here. But okay, I gotta go before I'm late for this damn appointment. Stunning. Stunning. Okay, I'll see you guys when I get back. Y'all, I'm finally home. Let's talk about my day. I did not expect to be ripping and running on the day before I have to go back to work, but it's okay. Um, so I wanted to show y'all the stuff that I got at Home Goods earlier. Um, super cute. Not that I need to be buying any decorative things right now. Like, I don't even have like my big pieces yet, but I figured why not? Because you know, Home Goods and Marshalls, once you see it, if you don't get it that day, it's never gonna be back. So, this is so freaking cute. Anyway, I got this like vase. It's like abstract with like the wicker on the handle. So cute. So I got this. This was $30. Yep, 30 bucks. And I also got this big ass candle. But I love that it's like in this jar. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six wick. Candle. So cute. I mean, it's just everything's fitting the vibe. So yeah, I got that. This was $30. <laughs> I probably won't like that. It smells so good though. Holiday citrus. I don't know, maybe I will. I don't know, though. But that's more of a decorative piece. I got this, like, she called them cattails. There's a specific word for them, but I got these to put in either this base or my other little mini one on my coffee table. So I got these from Marshall, I mean, from Michael's. Guys, I'm like delusional right now. Like, delusional. This two. This is so cute. Like, super cute. It's another candle, but it's giving abstract for real. Like, how cute. So this was $15. And this smells really good. Mm. This is vanilla and sandalwood. Okay. I got this little, these beads. And a, whoa, that was close. I know y'all be seeing these and don't be nasty. I got these like black textured with like the whatever you call this at the end. These were $17. Annoying, but they are cute, so. And last but not least, this might be my favorite. I think it's pretty unique and I haven't seen anything like this. Oh, I guess in this color. I got this like, Seated lady. I don't know if you can see, but like the butt is out. So cute. Um, let me come closer. Like fire. Like I want to place it on something like backwards like that. It's that's cute. I look you want to get another one, but I, I I feel like it's just like it's a cute piece on its own. So yeah. That's everything I got from uh, Home Goods and um, Michaels. So now I'm just going to um, 
change, wrap my hair, pack my bag for work tomorrow, and um, let me like get, so I'm going to show y'all what I like set out in the morning um, before I go to work because it makes my life a little easier when I feel like organized. I will always set out some type of like coffee mug. This one had a straw and I don't know where it's at, but um, so I'm gonna set this next to my espresso machine. And then on top of that, I will put my pod, um, my espresso pod or Nespresso pod. So I think that I'm going to do, hmm, I think I did caramel cookie last. No, I did vanilla custard pie. So I think I'm gonna try the hazelino muffin. So I'm gonna set the pod on top. So I know that that's what I'm gonna use in the morning as well as my cinnamon. Uh, Cause I already have, thankfully I already have cold foam prepped. <sighs> prepped, but I already had cold foam like leftover made. Um, it's in my fridge. So um, I don't have to make any more. So it's here. So in the morning I just take the foil off re-whisk it and I'm good to go. Um, <clears throat> so there's that. So now I'm going to like get my work bag ready. I love this Marc Jacobs tote bag. Like I did not expect to get as much wear out of this as I do. I use this bag every single day, legitimately every single day. If I don't use it on my, like at my like day job, like in clinic, I'm using it when I go to coffee shops to edit. Um, if I'm running a bunch of errands that require like a lot of like returns or things that I need in here, I'll grab this bag. Like she goes with everything that I wear. Um, this is the small size, by the way. Um, she goes with everything I wear because I'm a neutral girl and um, she's just perfect. All right, I'll show you guys what I typically have in here. Um, so I have these fine um, tip Sharpie pens, a black and then a few colored ones. I have a highlighter for whatever reason in here. Of course, I have my stethoscope. That goes in here. I always, always, always bring my pants prep pearls. So um, this is uh, A. I don't really bring B because that's more like super sub specialty. And in, in urgent care, you're gonna normally see pulmonary, uh, pulmonology, GI, ENT, ortho related things. So. All of that is in volume A. Um, for those that don't know, I'm a PA. I probably said that a million times as well. I'm a physician assistant. This is like our Bible. <laughs> Before you take the like national certification exam, pants prep is like your girl. So I always have her with me just to like reference things. So I put her in here. I have a provider training manual that they gave us. So. I bring that as well, just to reference some things. I have some like passwords for some websites that we need to chart and whatnot. I have a notepad in case I need to jot something important down. This also has um, a fun fact. I use this notepad when I was in PA school for like my tough rotations, like internal medicine, family medicine, emergency medicine. So I have some like notes to reference back to and also blank pages that I can like jot things down. So I will put in here and then um, I have just like a regular pen if I need her. 
I bring my card holder. And then last but not least, a satin scrunchie. Let me grab it. A satin scrunchie. Because you never know when you need to tie your hair up. So that's my work bag. Um, I don't bring a laptop because they have laptops um, for us at the clinics. And then I, I will also, so I have this ready to go. I always leave her on the edge of the counter and my keys beside the bag. And then um, I will grab my lunchbox. <laughs> I always feel so childish. My lunchbox, put her right next to her. Um, and I'll just put like my dry snacks. Oh, you know what? That's what I wanted to do. I'm gonna put my dry snacks in my work bag um, because I typically will stick my entire uh, lunchbox in the fridge. So I just have one of these like kind mini bars, super good. Um, let me grab. Okay, so. These veggie puffs are super good, but these we have my breath on 10, I'm not gonna lie. Like when they said sour cream and onion, they really emphasized the onion. So I'm gonna put these in my work bag as well. And then I'm gonna take some of these mixed nuts and a little baggie. These are some of my favorites. Like so. So I have all my dry snacks in here. Flip this up. And then my like actual lunch, yogurt, anything cold will go in here in the morning. But okay, so now I'm just gonna get ready for bed. Uh, I think I'm going to edit a little bit and whew, knock out. It's only 8.20 and I'm beat. Like, I've been running errands all day and my lash tech irritated my soul today. Like, but you know, I'm not even going to get into that. At least my lashes look good, decent, whatever. Tomorrow is another work day. Y'all know how the work days go. <laughs> They're not the most eventful for y'all because I work 12 hour shifts. So um, you will either see me before I go to work, maybe I'll montage me getting ready, or you'll see me after I get off of work. But regardless, you will see me on Friday because Friday, one of my girlfriends is coming to visit. So we're going to have a nice day on Friday and a nice weekend because uh, I have Saturday and Sunday off. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay. I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Y'all did not see me the last two days. Oh, I have a visitor. <laughs> this is Steph, Stephania, hey, one of my good friends job. from Florida. Um, but anyway, so y'all did not see me the last two days because all I did was work. I, I, I warned y'all, I probably was not gonna pick up the camera. So yeah, here we are, it's Saturday. We went and saw, what was that movie called last night? Barbarian. Yeah, Barbarian. Freaky ass movie. <laughs> it was good though. It was, it was good. good. We're so good. scary, we were like nervous, like is it gonna be thriller, scary? It was kind of both, like. Yeah, I would say it was both. But it was lit. I, we had a really good time. We went to IPIC. I had a really good meal too. I had this prime rib sandwich. 10 out of 10. What did you have? Oh. I had the turkey burger. Yes. It was good. It was so-so, right? It was so-so, yeah. It was, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, next time I'll get what you got. Yeah, no, my shit was it fire. Was good. Okay, but yeah, the vibes were good. And then we came back and we knocked out. So it's Saturday. We're about to head to brunch. We're going to, damn, what's it called? I was to say catch. It's not, it's not catch. Catch? catch? Say, it's not. I'm gonna tell you exactly what. What? It I'm is. tripping. But 
while she looks it up. This is my look for today. Clutch. Clutch bar. I was close. I was close. <laughs> you were. You actually were. <laughs> catch, 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 whatever the hell. You so clutch sure. bar um, here in Houston. And I will see y'all when we get there. I'm excited. The food looked good. And the drinks, we're probably going to get this like little Patron bottle carafe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Um, so anyway, we'll see. see you when you get there. Yeah. My treacherous little twin, and you know that we not in, and I love you like my kin, it's whatever for you. I go up and down that road, I go anywhere you go, when you tell me life is good, I want better for you. You my twin, you my twin, you my treacherous little twin, you my twin, you my treacherous little twin, you my twin, you my treacherous little twin. Yo, fuck what they say, fuck what they say. after brunch and I am currently en route I don't think I ever talked about this yet but I am going to get my eyebrows um, nano shaded so not microblading it's called nano shading where it's not like they slice your skin like microblading um, this is more puncture like I don't know how to explain but you guys will see when I get there hopefully she lets me record but um, I found an amazing lady down here in Houston um, her work is phenomenal I will have all of her all of her information down in the description box below but y'all I'm amped because if, if y'all can see like I have no brows filled in right now and it looks like I have no hair on my face and it's just so annoying I'm going to get some darker brows today I'm super excited I'm currently en route, so when I get there, I will show y'all what we got going on. Okay, see you there. <laughs> going for we're just going for like a nice lift mm-hmm um, and you're naturally dry right uh oily like oily combo um so we're doing nano shading today what we book yes nano shading. shading and a nice lift with bringing it more towards the center because i don't have any hair towards the center at all i actually wish i had a mat Ready? Yeah. Seeing my brows for the first time, y'all. Oh, they look so good. It looks like hair. Wow. Wow. 
Thank you so much, y'all. Wow, you can't tell me that that's not my hair. You did such an amazing job. I was sleeping, y'all, the entire time. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna put some pigment seal on them. Okay. Um, you mean it? Okay, yeah, yeah. My camera died um, at the place, but y'all, my brows, I just, I'm going to zoom, let me zoom. Y'all, are we serious? It, you can't tell me the front is not my hair. She's, oh, let me not touch, she snapped. She snapped. It looks so natural, which is what I was going for. I didn't want them to be too dark, but I wanted them to be noticeable. She said that they'll get a little darker as time goes on, so I'm happy about that. But this is like, just how it looks like off, right, right off bat. I'm very pleased. Very pleased. She got the shape really nicely. Gave me some extra tail because I don't have any. <laughs> they look good. Okay, so she gave me this like aftercare kit. I'm gonna show y'all. It was like all on here. Okay. So it comes with this instruction card. It says the Slay Summit Brow Aftercare Day 1 blot limp from brows every 30 minutes until it stops. I literally don't see any limp. I mean, I'm a blot just to, to blot to see. Um, and how cute. Her packaging is A1. So it says blot limp every 20 to 30 minutes until it stops. And she gives you like a few of these cotton rounds. I'm sure I could use my own cotton rounds, but I'm going to use her since I came with the service so I'm just gonna blot I don't see anything I don't see anything I think I'm okay It's weird to see my face like this. I don't know. It's going to take me a minute to get adjusted. But um, there's that. So it says, day one, blot, blot lint from brows every 30 minutes until it stops. An hour after appointment, wash hands and gently apply provided cleanser to brow area at the sink. Rinse and pat dry with a clean paper towel. This is the after, it says after soap. And it says, for, for, for permanent cosmetics, use morning and night daily for 10 days. Which, that's nice. And then days 2 through 10, so tomorrow up until... Tomorrow's Sunday... Until the following Wednesday. Replete cleansing step. And when brows are dry, apply a rice grain amount of cream to brows which is this so this is like a healing lotion it says that it comes with for, yeah there should be enough left for second session if applying correctly if brows are still flaking and peeling after 10 days continue the aftercare until it stops so I will keep y'all updated on how this goes. Oh, this is cute. This is funny. It says, okay, so they use Beyonce memes on this thing. Okay, so it says day one, crazy in love with my brows. Okay, and then it says day two plus, why are they so dark and thick? Day 5 through 10, Candace, they are the wrong shape and falling off. I'm screaming. Because this will literally be me because I'm extremely dramatic. And then day 10 plus, what happened? Now they are too light. And I'm 
dreading this part because I already feel like they're kind of light right now. I mean, they're noticeable, but I kind of feel like they're light. But she said they're going to get darker. And then day 15 plus, finally my brows are coming back just a little patchy. And then <clears throat> it says after touch up there, perfect feeling myself. But she told me truly that she rarely has people even need to do the touch up. So we'll see. It says results are highly dependent on your ability to follow aftercare. Not following aftercare can result in a third session at your expense. And then it says for 10 days, do not touch or scratch brows, be in direct sunlight slash tan, apply makeup or any product to the brow area, sweat slash workout, get brows wet, take vitamins. So vitamin A, C, D, E, biotin or fish oil, which I already knew. That's why I did not get my gym membership yet because I knew I had this appointment. So I'm just going to wait until after this um, stage. So basically November <laughs> until I... Um, sign up for the gym, but anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna wash it with this little after soap, and then tonight when I come back, I will wash it again and then use this. So there's that. I'm gonna leave it on my countertop so I don't forget. But that was cute. That was like nice packaging. I like it. I'm gonna wash my face. I actually do really like my brows. Like I can't believe that the hair strokes really look like like what? Super cute. So um I'm gonna wash my brows and then I'm gonna just rest for a little bit. It's 7 30. Rest for like 30 minutes and then we are going to dinner tonight and then we're gonna see where the night takes us. So of course I'm gonna take you guys with us and so I'll probably see you when we're all ready and we're heading to dinner. Okay, all ready. I feel like it's not giving because my brows, I can't do anything to anything around my brows. I can't fill them in. I can't put makeup there, but it's fine. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit. And then we gotta go. Entire fit is from Zara, top and pants. I just have on these little heels for a pretty little thing. I've had for forever. And um, this bag is actually from Shein. I get questions on it all the time. Literally Shein, I've had it forever. Um, but yeah. Okay, we're going to dinner. I'm starving, I can't wait to eat. So, see you there. Whoa, whoa. Look at me dead in my eyes. You see all the times that I had to go slide. 
Too many sticks. We go to war with whoever ain't never been bad. Too many sticks. I was that your ops and none of them died. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Why you pull up at one in the morning to sit on the edge of the bed? What? Testing emojis, took me out eggplant, must have went over her head. Catching my side of the studios, make him repeat what he said. Pussy. Yeah, yeah, let's have sex in the car. Girl. The Maybach came with a bar. I'm wiping my dick with a bra. Snipe his ass, he got hit in the head for far. Pussy. Pops get undivided attention, I give them my all. Oh, God. How you come over the spot when you know it's your time of the month? How? Make a distance, see how fast you go from the boot to a blunt. Pussy. She say she hungry, I gave her dick for blunt. Girl. Send me my whole feet, I don't do back ends and front. No, 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 let's have sex in a bank, telling her open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow, that's cause the necklace of Frank. Her, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the nine story. Breaking and bending the spine, story, let's do it. I hate a privileged rapper that ain't had a hit since he signed. Story. Niggas be full of excuses, that like they taking their time. Yeah. so shiny because I just did my skincare got my hair wrapped up <laughs> well and this is the end of the vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it oh, my forehead is so shiny but let's get into the skin <laughs> anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I had a lot of fun filming it letting you guys into my life um yeah I'm about to knock out because I got to take Stephanie's butt to the airport at like 5 a.m. in the morning. It's like 10 o'clock right now. So I'm going to get like six, yeah, six-ish hours, six plus hours of sleep, take her in, and then I have work in the morning. So yeah, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe, join the gang. We're a big family here. We would love to have you. Um, but yeah, until next time, gang, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one.